An accidental shooting on a movie set involving Alec Baldwin left a cinematographer dead. Streaming services reigned supreme at the Emmys, and COVID-19 continued to cast a shadow over the entertainment industry in 2021. CBS's Anthony Pura takes a look back at some of the top entertainment stories of the year. Overshadowed by the threat of COVID-19, Americans welcomed 2021 in a low-key manner. Once COVID vaccines became widely available, touring acts resumed performing, production ramped up, and movie theaters reopened. And in September, Broadway was back with a full slate of live shows for the first time in a year and a half. But several productions temporarily shuttered just before Christmas because of a new wave of illness caused by the Omicron variant. The Grammys, Emmys, Oscars and Tonys returned to live in-person shows with limited guests. The 63rd Grammy Awards took place on several stages around downtown Los Angeles. Beyonce broke the all-time record for the most wins by any artist. She now owns 28. Megan Thee Stallion was named Best New Artist. At the Oscars, Nomadland took home top honors for Best Picture, Best Director and Best Actress. An accidental shooting on the set of the Alec Baldwin film Rust killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured the director. Baldwin fired the fatal shot not knowing the prop gun he was handed contained a live round. The accident prompted the industry to urge reforms on the use of firearms on sets. Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein was returned to Los Angeles to face new sex charges. Actor Jesse Smollett was convicted of staging a fake attack on himself in Chicago in 2019. At least three women accused Sex in the City actor Chris Noth of sexual assault. He said the encounters were consensual. Britney Spears won her independence from a conservatorship overseen by her father that controlled her finances and day-to-day -day life. The pop star became engaged to her longtime boyfriend and said she wants to have more children. 2021 was a big year for streaming services. Discovery Plus launched in January and Viacom CBS debuted Paramount Plus in March. Streaming services dominated the Emmys with shows like Apple TV's Ted Lasso, HBO Max's Mare of Easttown, and Netflix's The Crown taking home top honors. Taylor Swift re-recorded and re-released some of her original music after she lost her rights to the masters of her first six albums. Adele released her first new album in six years and Tony Bennett retired from live performances. Both were showcased in CBS specials. Jeopardy named Mayim Bialik and Ken Jennings host for the 2021 season. Former executive producer Mike Richards initially had the gig but stepped down after offensive remarks he made in the past became public. And the industry lost many notable performers, including rapper DMX, Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts, talk show host Larry King, and actor Charles Grodin. Those are some of this year's top entertainment stories. Anthony Pura, CBS News.